Well, today we're going to show you how to set one of these mole traps. These are called barrel mole traps. This one's still in the packet and I'll tell you why in a minute. These are brand new. You can see the trap underneath with the wire loop that's on a very tight spring. Now moles can be real problematic if you get them into your lawns in domestic settings and we've got one that's making a real mess of the lawns here in front of the farmhouse. So first thing you're going to need is to buy some barrel mole traps. We're going to have to locate the submerged run where the mole is going each day and to use that we're going to use a old tent peg which is ideal it's nice and rigid and with this you can prod the ground to try and locate the run. Now once you've done this a few times I can feel that goes right in with no resistance and you're looking to locate a straight section of run which is at least as long and I think that's about right. I've got a straight section of run there between this old mole hill and this fresh one that's just about the right length to take my mole trap and that's important because a lot of these runs don't go in straight lines, they'll curve all over the place and these are the feeding runs that the moles will visit several times a day. So I'm going to excavate that now using my trowel along the line of the probe holes that I've identified. Okay so here is my excavated mole run and if I just put my tent peg in you'll see the run goes off in that direction and continues in that direction. And I've used the, the loop on the tent peg just to clear out any debris that I've created when excavating the hole. And you'll note I'm wearing gloves because moles are very sensitive to scent. And one of the key things to do to improve your catch rate is to wear gloves so they don't get the scent of human. Now I've excavated the sides of this hole so it's wide enough to take my barrel trap running in the direction of the run. If the hole that you've created is too narrow then you're never going to get a wide barrel trap down into that hole. So now time to set your mole trap. When you've set the springs on the trap it should look like this. The two loops are what catches the mole and the gates in the front are what triggers the traps. Now I need to care carefully place this so that it's sitting in the right position in the run. We're now going to just backfill by pulling the turf back over the run. Now it's important that you completely obstruct any light that's going to give the mole a clue and if, if you've got access to it on your mole hills you can just pull some of the loose friable soil back over but you don't want to put anything in the way that's going to obstruct the action of that mole trap and finally mark your mole trap so you can find it and remember where it is i'm just using these pieces of copper piping that work beautifully with the line just directly sitting over where the mole trap is and then leave it 24 48 hours come back and that's the time to check your traps see what you've caught